Hi, I'm Andres Nieto, chef of LA Prime Restaurant. Today, I'm gonna to show you a great recipe for corn and crab bisque. Okay, let's get started with this uh, corn and crab bisque. Okay, so here's our ingredients. I wanna go through all the ingredients first. We have uh, diced white onions. You have minced garlic. Uh, mint, diced celery. This great white corn. I have diced potatoes, these are russet potatoes, heavy whipping cream, and we have this really nice, sweet uh, Dungeness crab. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our soup base going, so we're gonna move over to the pan, I'm gonna start to saute my vegetables. Okay, so you wanna get your pan about medium temperature, not too hot, put a little bit of olive oil in to start, and I'm gonna start by sauteing my onions. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of these white onions, we're going to do a full tablespoon of garlic to really get some great flavor in there. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of the diced celery. Okay. And we're going to let those all start to saute. So you want to get that olive oil going with the garlic, the onions, and the celery, and let those cook. You want them to become translucent, but you don't want them to brown because you want your soup at the end to be white and light. If you let the vegetables brown, that will actually make the, the stock dark. So you want to be careful not to over brown the vegetables. Okay, next ingredient we're going to add is we're going to add all this great white corn. We're going to put about a, a, a cup of corn into here because all, it's all about the corn. And I'm going to add these potatoes. So the potatoes will uh, be sauteing and they'll cook and they should be just, you know, just done when the soup is finished. Okay, so we want to saute all these vegetables together, okay, this is going to be our base. So you want to saute the corn, all these vegetables together, and we're going to add a little bit of fresh ground pepper. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of pepper. I'm using white pepper, I'm using black pepper in my pepper mill. If you wanted it a little bit more spicier, you can add more pepper, it's a matter of preference. Okay, so we're going to let that keep sauteing. And all the flavors from the corn, you don't want to mask them too much. So I don't put too many, I don't put any herbs or nothing that's going to overpower the corn. I want the corn to be the star of the show. So um, we're going to let that continue to cook. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is after the vegetables soften a little bit, I'm going to add a great vegetable stock. So I've made a vegetable stock and uh, that's going to be the base of the sauce. So we're going to just deglaze the pan with this wonderful vegetable stock. We're going to just let that go like that. Okay, once all the vegetables are nice and soft, you want to just add your vegetable stock like that and you let that simmer. Then we're going to add our heavy whipping cream. So we're going to add like about half a cup of whipping cream and we're going to let that come to a, a boil. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients in there for now and we're going to let this come to a boil. You want this to simmer about 30 minutes uh, you know, and so uh, after it boils for 30 minutes, then we'll continue on. Okay, so our bisque has been cooking. It's almost finished. It smells delicious. It looks fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, add our crab now. Okay, so we have this Dungeness crab, and what I'm going to do is just kind of crumble it into the bisque. So you want to take it, and it just kind of falls apart. So you want to crumble it right into the bisque, just like that. It's going to add great flavor, great texture. All right, so we're gonna let that just kind of simmer for a few more minutes. And before we dish it up, I'm gonna put a little bit of the, of the crab right in the middle of my bowl. So you can put just a little bit there so you can really showcase the sweet, delicious, tender crab. All right, <clears throat> so now, okay, so here we are. We have this fantastic bisque. All the flavors of the crab, the corn are all there. We're gonna just ladle this right into our bowl. So, here we go. Oh, if you could smell this, it smells wonderful. It's really, really fantastic. Okay, look at that, wow. Okay, so this is an amazing bisque. You have the sweet corn, the amazing crab, everything comes together, all the flavors are incredible. Uh, the crab is sweet, delicious, really a fantastic bisque. Once again, Chef Andres Nieto, and that was a recipe for a great corn and crab bisque. Enjoy.